Back to 11 Alive News at 4. So today is crossover day at the state capitol. This is the final day for bills to be sent from one chamber to another, uh, a.k.a. crossing over at the Georgia legislature, or they are considered dead. And right now, the fate of several bills lawmakers are trying to pass remain in the air right now. 11 Alive has you covered from start to finish. Right now, Joe Ripley is live at the capitol. What some of the highlights from crossover day so far, Joe? Yes, so within the last hour, we've heard the House debate uh, immigration uh, bills here, as well as the film tax credit here in Georgia. Over on the Senate side, there's been a back and forth over a bill that would prohibit any state tax dollars from going to materials, training, or services provided in an association with the American Library Association. As you all mentioned, crossover day, very crucial for lawmakers hoping to keep their bills alive. Typically, if a bill doesn't cross over from the House to the Senate or vice versa, it dies. The Squatter Reform Act is just one of the major bills. The House passed and sent over to the Senate today. It changes state code to allow property owners to remove squatters from a property. The bill sponsors State Representative Devin Seaball says squatters have caused hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage, a huge financial burden on property owners. They're unlawfully in somebody's home and the way the law was previously written, they're treated as a tenant and they're not tenants, they're criminal trespassers. And we're going to treat them like that with the changes in the law that we got today. Now, lawmakers in both the House and the Senate have coalesced, wrapped around uh, human trafficking measures. They've come to an agreement there. I'll have more on those measures and where they stand coming up at 5.